Over the weekend, Texas hosted elite recruits for football and brought out eye candy. That being a fleet of Lamborghinis on campus to show off. Now, nothing illegal about what they did, but they were criticized on the move. Now, recruiting can now include fancy cars and a swollen bank account. That's where we are now in today's world of college sports. UT Tyler's director of athletics, Howard Patterson, as we reported Sunday, is retiring in August, but he leaves with me this opinion on the landscape of big-time college sports now that legal money is flowing. It's, it's just a different world, even at D2 level, where a great, you, you, were, you recruit a great player at D2. Let's say a great point guard, great shooter. And he has a phenomenal year in D2. And then the D1s notice that, and they pick up the phone and call him. And say, hey, if you come here, plus, not only will you get a full ride, plus monthly stipend, you'll get NIL money. Maybe 50,000, maybe a million. Depends on how good they are. You're not going to find D2 kids going for a million. But it, it's crazy. I think it's going the wrong direction. I think, and I can say that now since I'm on the way out and I don't have to hold myself accountable to the NCAA, I think they've made some bad decisions. And, and I, I could be wrong.